Oh gosh. Okie dokie. Good evening and oh my giddy aunt. Would everybody slow down for five minutes and stop running around quite so much? Right, that's better. Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Auction Not Included. Right, sorry. I haven't played this game in like oh gosh, in like two weeks, so I've completely forgotten where we were and what we were doing. And fertilizer! Three tons of fertilizer. That sounds like a brilliant idea. Let's let's completely ignore anything else that you might have um available. Can we have some more coal in here because I'm getting a little worried. Speaking of things I'm worried about, everything would be a good way to define that. What the hell was I doing with this? Why did I want all of this here? Oh yeah, because I was trying to go down because I think the oil biomes are further further south, aren't they? Well, so, what, what is that doing there? Get rid of that. Okie dokie. So... Ah, yes, I remember. we would just gotten the wheeze warts, hadn't we? Which were trying to cool down our, our everything. Because everything was getting a little toasty over here. Here we are. This is looking a lot better now. Yes, this is nicely chilled. You call 22 degrees chilled? Are you crazy? Okay, right. We have... We, we, why is there nothing being planted here? We should have some more... More seeds! More seeds. But, oh, gosh. Never mind the number of seeds. Oh, gosh. How much coal do we have? We have 16 tons of coal. Good. That's a fair amount of coal. We have no oil, however, which is the main thing that I was faffing around with. Hmm. Okay, so... Gideon. Let me just have a quick look around and see if I can figure out... There is so much wasted space here. Let me figure out what we've actually got going on at the minute. So we've got... We had our water sorted out, we were trying to get our hydrogen production working, and I realised in editing that I made this very, very inefficient because there was no reason to make the oxygen and hydrogen here and then pump the hydrogen down here. It would have been more efficient just to have this in this room and then just pump the oxygen out. Uh, that would have been far more efficient, but I didn't do that because I'm a twit. So we were trying to get the oil production going, but that wasn't working. Um, we had the metal refinery working, if nothing else, that's working at least. So we can make the refined metals now, which means we can make the upgraded cable. We've got this for the natural gas construction, uh, natural gas production rather, for electricity. However, we don't have a natural gas geyser for the generation of any natural gas. And in every direction I see, I see nothing good. Apart from possibly this, because this is a biome, I'm not really familiar with the name of this biome, but this is a biome that you find quite frequently in another one of the planets, which has an awful lot of salt water in it, a lot of hydrogen, and I think that's about it. But the advantage of hydrogen, uh, the advantage of this biome rather, is that it's got water in it, and I seem to remember saying a lot at the end of the last video, that if we had more water, we could sort some stuff out, because you can use water for various different production methods. Like oxygen, you can use it to produce hydrogen, you can use it to produce a lot of different stuff. I want to have a look at this though, because there's something going on here, I just don't know what. Which This is just going to be a pain in the butt trying to deal with this polluted ice. But I'm going to try anyway, I'm going to cut through there. Just have a look at this, because it, it, it also struck me in editing that I'm not really showing you anything new. With the exception of the wheeze warts, and the attempted oil refinery. <laughs> With the exception of that, I realised, uh, well, I suppose also with the hydrogen production as well, that I haven't really shown you anything new so far. Why are you not putting... I, I, I've told you like three times to put the mealwood in here, for crying out loud. Um, I might save that one actually and put another weasel in there just to add, build that up a little bit. Yeah, here we are. I see. So when you... Oh, gosh. I was really rather hoping that wouldn't happen. But it has. Uh, let me bust through here as well so we can get this as well, we are brute that. Because I want to get that and put that in here so that helps cool this down a little bit. Um, where were we on the research as well? Sorry, if you've been watching this in a playlist you're probably rather annoyed at the minute because for you it was only five minutes ago. For me it's been like two, two and a half weeks. So I've practically forgotten everything that we were doing. What's this? Oh, those are the solar panels. I must have been very, very optimistic about my chances of survival if I was researching how to build a solar panel. Um, we've got the fridges. Did I ever make a fridge? I don't even remember. 
got a uh, refinery. That's something to do with the automation stuff. Uh, that's to do with curing diseases. What's this? Oh yeah. Ah, that's the desalinator. That might end up being useful later because that allows us to refu refine brine water. That might be beneficial. That might be worth looking into. Certainly at a later day anyway. Let's see, what else have we got here? Not an awful lot of actually interesting things which need to be researched. That's probably why I wasn't doing any research, actually. But I am going to get a hold of this desalinator thing, because it sounds useful and interesting. And I want to have a look in here. Do I need to dig through here? Is that is that how I get access to this? Because there's a weird thing here. There's this here, and there's a ladder here. So, is this... I presume this is a... Uh, like an alien, or well, more native, I suppose. Like one of these, it's like a sort of a, a a thing, a place where beings have existed and done stuff. I just don't really know what it is. There's nowhere to turn chlorine powers there because we've got heaps of chlorine. I really wish I could do something with it. That skills. How's people with morale looking? Terrible! Oh no, terrible for you. Terrible for nobody else. Do you have a lot of stress? Is that your problem? Yes it is. Can I tell you to... to, to, to um, use the massage table by any chance? Why are you... Uh, so there's not stress. Yeah, really bad. Can I just tell you to get a... No, I don't think I can tell her to get a massage, but if I increase these, can I increase the priorities of these? Ah, oh, duplicates must take a massage break when their stress reduces 50%. I want to reduce that to like 27% for no particularly good reason. I'm just going to arbitrarily choose that as a number. Which now means that hopefully in the morning she will go and get a massage because her stress is quite high and I want to bring that down a little bit because that's screwing around with her morale. I don't know how to do that. So... I'm trying to think of like A, new things to show and B, jobs that we can do which are not going to guarantee death. I'm okay with doing jobs that have a distinct chance of death but I don't really want to do jobs that guarantee death. And one sort of problem that I have is I'd like to expand out into new areas, only I don't really know how to sort of work around areas. Because, for example, this area is potentially useful because it has a fair amount of oxygen in it, which could be refined into, or polluted oxygen rather, which could be refined into good oxygen. Same with the water, and it's got this of interest in it. However, this is probably full of germies. Yep. Absolutely riddled with the stuff all over the show which means I don't really know how to like utilize this area I mean for all I know I'm not supposed to utilize this area because as much as I said at the end of the last video that I was going to go off and do some research and figure out how you play this game I kind of didn't do that because I am lazy <laughs> and to be honest with you I was just trying to stop thinking about this game for a while so so, oh gosh, the commutes as well, the commutes are so long. Why is unrefrigerated food? Why? You have a... F oh, the fridge is full. Oh, that would explain that problem. I should probably build another one then, shouldn't I? Cool. Uh, that's interesting. I can't move the camera any further left. It won't let me go any further to the left here. Does that mean I've reached the edge of the map? Is this as wide as the map is? Yes, it is. I think that's... Ah. Oh. Interesting. I have absolutely no idea how I'm supposed to react to this new piece of information. None whatsoever. I'm just confused. Okay, so that means the map isn't all that wide. Maybe the game is meant to be very vertically based then. Maybe that's why, you know, you have, for example, the um, fire poles to help you go down faster. But there's not really, at least to my knowledge, anything which helps you go across any faster. Hmm. Interesting. 
Oh. Me and my big fat mouth. Goodness, there's nothing out there which would increase their horizontal movement speed. He says, immediately finding something which would increase their horizontal movement speed. Increase the decor. Oh no, hang on a minute, it doesn't improve. Oh no, it does improve the decor. Increase their run speed by 50%. Goodness. In comparison to a normal tile, which increases it by 25%. Do these have any effects? No, they don't. Possibly they don't even increase it. Yeah, in fact, actually, I think these special tiles don't increase the movement speed, but this does. Oh, you can build that out of different things to give different bonuses. Oh. <laughs> See, this is why, like, reading about this game and figuring out what under the sun... What under the what under the sun you're supposed to do in this game would have been a good idea, but uh, I kind of didn't. So this, how does this work then? Does this have like an intake? I would assume this has a gas intake. It removes large amounts of carbon dioxide, but produces no breathable air. Interesting. Reduces the decor. It's very R. That is a lot of heat. A thousand points of heat. How does that compare to something like the um, the coal generator? Hang on a minute. That's 9k DTUs. That's like 9,000 uh, didgeridoo-dars. And that's just... Oh, so that's actually not that bad, actually. That's actually only a ninth of what a coal generator would produce. I'm just looking at these very dark areas here, and I'm not really massively enthused by them. I'm a little bit nervous looking at them. I'm just wondering if maybe we should just build, like, one of them right next to the water to try and remove the amount of CO2 we've got building up at the minute. Because that would at least solve one problem of this, and these insulated tiles and these wheeze warts seem to be solving the temperature problem of coal. So if we could also solve the CO2 problem of coal, that would be brilliant. It doesn't solve the finite nature of coal, but it does solve the CO2 problem. I mean, I could build one in there, for example, to directly get rid of it. The question is, does it require power? Of course it requires power. Everything requires power. Yep, it requires 120 watts. Ah, it uses... Oh, it uses a water pipe. Interesting. Oh, and it pollutes the water. Oh, interesting. So it would pollute my water. Probably heat my water as well. What is it in here? Is it where exactly is it? It's here, isn't it? Yeah, it's like here on top of this bit here. I'm just I'm just gonna dig out all of this. Just all of this is gonna go because, frankly, I just want to find out what this accursed thing is. What's here, by the way? Oh, this is just CO2. So there's no oxygen. There's a little oxygen. There's oxygen at the top, but there's CO2 at the bottom because CO2 goes down, as we learned previously back when I was using my brain. So, I don't know how sensible this is going to be. Actually, I know exactly how sensible this is going to be. This is going to be not sensible at all. However, because I'm not very sensible, I'm going to build one of these anyway, because I'm just getting a little bit nervous about the amount of CO2 that's here. I think if I build this here, I'm not going to be able to actually construct tiles underneath this. Am I? If I put tiles here, I'm not going to be reachable, are they? It doesn't say they're unreachable. I mean, it's worth a try, I suppose. Uh, where is it? Here it is. You'd think I'd know by now. I've found the thing about ten times. So let's get that built. And just see if we can... Even if we just reduce it a bit. If we don't reduce it massively, let's just reduce it a bit. And I'll just need to do up the plumbing as well, which is going to be a pain in the butt. But we'll do the plumbing in a minute. I want to get all of... Um, I want to find out what this thing is. Ah! Yes. A discovery has been made. I can't really see what it is so far. It's got some icicles, and some sort of spire, and a diamond, and a telescope. But that's about as much as I can tell you at the moment. Goodness, it looks freaky, doesn't it? Ah, produces micronutrient fertilizer to increase plant growth rate. That sounds sort of useful. What does this require? 
Um, yeah, must require the crop tending trait. Building is necessary component. Requirements of fertilizer and dedicated room. Oh, does it have to be in a special room? It has to be in the greenhouse room. Farm station. Yes, so I'd have to put it in a dedicated room. That would be a pain in my butt, but not impossible. What would it actually do? Um, it doesn't improve mealwood. It improves everything other than mealwood. Great. So this 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 thing which sounds useful as it transpires is actually uh, rubbish. Brilliant. And it would require the use of this, which nobody actually has. In fact, nobody has this either. And the minute I put everyone's skills up, which means they have a higher morale requirement, all of a sudden their morale goes back down. Of course it does. Okay, this is finished now, so I can start getting this all connected to all of the various different bits and bobs that it needs, which is going to increase our power requirement even greater. But uh, what around here wasn't. And thinking about it, I should probably actually start uh, moving over to the better wire sooner rather than later. I feel like it would be a better idea to do that sort of now while we don't need to do that rather than waiting until we desperately do need to do it. I think that would be a sensible idea. How am I going to how am I going to connect this? I don't really want to bring it all the way across there. Now I know what you're doing. You're looking at this and you're thinking this is crazy. This is the stupidest, most monstrous system of plumbing you've ever seen. And you know what? You're absolutely right. But here's the thing. This is me we're talking about what did you honestly expect. You can't genuinely look at me and think that one of my videos is going to be competent. Of course my videos are going to be crazy and stupid. They all are. Oh my word. Okay, right. Let me put the priority on this up a little bit. There we go, just to try and get this done, so we can at least solve our CO2 problem. And in the meantime, I shall have a look into this better wire. Uh, what is it? The conductive wire, that's the stuff. Yeah, we just need the refined metal, don't we? Okay, so this has now been fully uncovered. A self-sustaining machine powered by what appears to be refined... I dread to even think what this is called. Mysterious and extremely resilient element which cannot be excavated by any mining tool. Hardness impenetrable. Yeah, I don't worry, I know some people like that as well. Absorbs and neutralizes heat energy when provided with piped hydrogen. Interesting. So, if I look at my... what, my gas overlay, presumably. Where's my ventilation? Here we are. So this has a pipe. Well, like, yeah, a gas pipe attached to it. So if I pumped hydrogen into this, this would basically cool down absolutely everything. The thing is, I'm not going to be able to build this, am I? No database entry available. That doesn't surprise me. Age unknown. Yeah. Made of iron, though. Primarily composed of iron. Odd. Um, I don't think if I deconstruct, if I like break this, I'm not, because if I could break this, pick it up, and then rebuild it, like, I don't know, right, get a yarn, the amount of CO2 in there is becoming unbearable. Um, oh gosh, <laughs> look how dark it is getting down here from the amount of CO2. But at least it's sucking it straight in, right, which is good, and it's producing more polluted ox uh, polluted water. Which is nice, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, hopefully this is reducing the amount of CO2 here. If it does, well, I was going to say if it works, we might build another one down there. But actually thinking about it, that probably isn't going to be a good idea, because the plumbing would be ridiculous trying to get that working. But, um, okay, I think for the most part that should at least solve our CO2 problem, which is building up. I'm just slightly worried about this, because the CO2 in here obviously can't escape. I mean, if we open this door, the CO2 will be able to get out... I just don't think the CO2 is going to come out here and then drift back down here, because I don't think that's how gases work. I think it will just stay down here. I mean, with the high pressure, eventually it will have to be pushed out, because I think the pressure equalization will push it out before the, like, the... 
I think basically the the gas will be drawn to equalize out the pressure even if the CO2 would rather stay below the oxygen. I'm hoping that the pressure is going to like overrule the authority of CO2 being lighter. I hope. I have no idea if that's how that works, but I'm going to assume for the time being that it does. I have no evidence to back this up. Huh. Interesting. I didn't realise this, but this is actually not consuming water. It's merely polluting it. Because this... It's water intake and outtake are in a one-to-one -one ratio. Which means we're not actually consuming water, which is good. I thought this would consume a degree of water, but it's not actually because it's a one-to-one -one ratio, which is excellent. Which means we don't actually need to worry about... You know, if you weren't here in all the carbon dioxide in the freezing cold icy area, you wouldn't need to hold your breath, you adorable saber-toothed tiger. So that's one positive of this, at least. It's not consuming water, it's just polluting it. It is generating a lot of heat in the process, and the refinement of that water, stop it being polluted anymore, is also generating a lot of heat here as well, which is a right pain in my butt. What to that to that end, to that degree, thanks for that discovery, is what I'm trying to say and failing miserably. Uh, what I'm going to do actually is I'm actually going to expand throughout here because I want to uproot these three plants. Because I'm going to try putting these warts next to all of my machinery, or at least a vast majority of my machinery. Because if I do that, I'm hoping that they will counteract some of the effect of the heat that they're generating. Because these are lovely and cool now, yeah? These are being kept at 20C and everything's hunky-dory. These, however, are a problem. A serious problem. Because they're generating a lot of heat and they're really hotting things up and I really don't like that. But maybe we can solve that problem. Probably not. But maybe. An arbor tree. Alright then, I don't think we'll ever have the opportunity to actually build an arbor tree or let an arbor tree go, but never mind. Oh, arbor tree. Arbor tree. Ah, funny, funny. That probably is not a pun. It probably did because it doesn't even make any sense. Why would the word arbor tree have anything to do with this game? But never mind, it doesn't matter. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Look, all the CO2 has gone in minutes. In like, like two cycles, all that CO2 has just vanished. That was amazing, and that didn't use half as much water as I expected it to. That's brilliant, actually. That is genuinely really, really fantastic. So CO2 is not that much of a problem, then. CO2 is not something I have to worry about as much as I thought I did. That's fantastic. That genuinely is really good. Genuinely is really good. And the seal has been broken. And quite possibly my fate instead has been sealed. But, uh, yeah, I'm building a little ladder here in the hope that I've just realised we're not actually going to be able to get down here, are we? Because we're going to have to build like a ladder to get down here. It's going to be a pain in L bum, but never mind. If I just build like that much ladder, that should be fine, shouldn't it? Uh, yep, but then that's going to be in the wrong place because I forgot I told them to break that down. Yeah, if we then get rid of like that much. I'm going to put that on a better priority. This should then allow them to try and get through here. I See, the thing with me is that I have absolutely no idea how this works. So it's a strong door with a sophisticated lock. Does it say... No, there's no database entry available. Can I... Ah, oh, oh, here we are. Oh yes, a strong door with a sophisticated lock. All you need to do is walk up to it and the accursed thing opens. Right, so here's something new. So we've got some monstrously human looking stuff. So there's a computer desk, an inact office desk, decorated with several personal belongings and a barely functional computer. 
and this, a massive synthetic brain suspended in a saline solution. There is a chair attached to the device with room for one person, and you expect me to shove someone in there and just find out what's going to happen? Well, guess what? You're gosh darn right that's what I'm going to do. We're going to inspect this. What? I scour the... What? I scour the internal systems and find something of interest. Okay, I'd like to view the entry, please. Um, throat clears. We are now reliably printing healthy living subjects, though all exhibit unusual qualities as a result of the cloning process. Unusual vocalizations, benign growths, and missing appendages have all been, been in, seen in all subjects so far. To varying degrees of severity, it seems that bypassing or accelerating juvenility halts certain critical stages of development. Brain functions, however, appear typical. They all seem quite happy. This sounds like the devlog of the creation of this machine here, this printing pod. That's what it sounds like to me. Where did all this water come from? Probably the pipes I busted down. Sorry, I've been selling them like a number of different like various projects of stuff I want to try and get done. Like, you know, like just like living things to make life a little bit better. I want to try and build like a... Um, uh, a fire pole here. I want to try and reconstruct this area a little bit because I screwed up with the height of these rooms a bit. Uh, I've moved the research station as well, which I realise I didn't set that on a high priority, but never mind. Um, I'm also going to build them some mess tables, which I realised I never did. I don't know what's happened to my voice, I don't know why I'm speaking funny all of a sudden. But, um, where are the mess tables? Furniture? Yeah, here we are. Because when they have mess tables, they actually have a place to sit and eat which would be nice for them. So what I want to do, I think, is I want to deconstruct all of that because we don't need that anymore. And I want to get rid of this and this. Because I think what I'm going to do, possibly, is move the farm. I might move the farm down here, for example. And generate, if I can generate like a new CO2 area, perhaps, and CO2 seems to go down. Maybe if I build a new CO2 area, but then if I keep the CO2 area here, then it'll allow this to still be used for without having to construct another one. Mind you, this is on the same elevation. I don't know. I don't quite know how this is going to work yet. But I want to move this, ideally, because I quite like to use this area for something else. I don't know what yet, but I get the impression I might like to do that. But, um... That's interesting. So, I, can I, did I inspect this as well? Uh, I already took everything of interest in this. What about this? The computer was wiped and was completely clean, except for one file hidden in the recycling bin. I'd like to read that. Um, I was just emailing you after our little chat today to pass along something you might like to read. I think you'll find it super useful in your research. First law, energy can either be created or destroyed, only change forms. Second law, entropy in an isolated system that is not in equilibrium tends to increase over time, approaching the maximum value at equilibrium. Third law, entropy in a system approaches a constant minimum as temperature approaches absolute zero. If two thermodynamic systems are in thermal equilibrium with a third, then they are in thermal equilibrium with each other. If this is too complicated for you, you can come by and have a chat. I'd be thrilled to answer your questions. I feel like somebody is trying to teach me <laughs> teach me some basic physics. Oh, the laws of thermodynamics! That's literally somebody trying to teach me physics. So, is that... to literally try and help me work out how this works. Elegant ceiling lamp. A bit worse for wear though. So can I actually use this? Um because it doesn't actually say what it does, but I'm going to assign it to who can I lose? <laughs> who would it not massively matter if they suddenly died? Um I hate to say it but I think you. Yes, definitely you. Definitely you. Sorry, Catalina. But, um... You're gonna use this thing. And I don't know what it does. Oh, looks like we're about to find out. I'm sorry. What? 
Pew, Catalina's brain is still v -v 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 vibrating. I'm sure she enjoyed that. But she's never felt better. Acquired deep deep diver's lungs trait. Air consumption rate has been reduced by 50 grams a second. So I can use that to give people traits? But it needs to be recharged. <laughs> hey, your guess is as good as mine, but it's something new! And it's nice to be confused by something more video gamey than just physics, right? Like it's a step in the right direction, yeah? And back to normal. Who am I kidding? I've never been normal, but that's not the point. That's not what we're here talking about. Um, did I even mention I got the Wii's Sports working? Because I did. I, I did do that. I think this area is cooling down a tiny little bit now. Because now they've got something cold next to something hot, which is my, my hope that that'll help equalise things out a little bit. So, is it all... Well, I assume it's always a positive trait. I can't possibly imagine that it wouldn't be, but I mean, that's great. That means we need less oxygen production each day, which is a lovely uh, step in the right direction. But, um... Yeah. So, we, so are all of these the same, then? Are all of these little facilities... Like, there's one up here, I think. Uh, no, there's not. There's one over here? Yeah, there's, like, there's something there, and there's, like, another one right here, but I think the door's on the far side of that, which is a pain in the butt. And there's one over here as well, which might be accessible, but it's still quite far away. What's the germ situation like around there? Pretty bad. Pretty bad. I think we'd have to go down and across. But then we'd probably have to go underneath it to actually reach it, because there's a heck of a lot of germs in every other direction. Not to imply there's not a lot of germs here, but, you know, that's life or something. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there's another principle. Please be something useful, like some food or something. No, I do not want the shine nymphs. They're a pain in the butt. Royal pain in the butt. Okie dokie. Um, yeah. I'm confused. I just don't really know what to do. It's, like that's, that's, that's completely thrown me, and it shouldn't do, but it's completely thrown me. Right. Okay, so I've let them run for a little bit, and we're making a little bit more progress. We're sort of moving... We're moving along with my sort of quality of life improvements, as I'm sort of labelling them, I suppose. Uh, and I am beginning to realise that these are all going to be slightly off-kilter, which is annoying, but never mind, it doesn't matter. Um, main thing that I've done is I've moved the oxygen production facility. Previously it was here, and I've moved it over here. I've done that for a couple of reasons. A because this floor needs to move, so obviously it had to move. Uh, but the reason I moved it here is because it's roughly the same distance away from the water as it used to be, so it's not increasing their commute. However, it's actually reducing the commute for the polluted water bottle empty, because previously they had to take it from here to here, now they're only going to take it from here to here, which is a marginal improvement. I'm really hoping... Darn it. Oh, fiddlesticks. I was really hoping these things. Can you eat these? Are these a type of food? Sleet wheat grain. Ah, oh, Sleet wheat's a food. I was under the impression that sleet wheat was a thing you could put in here. But no, that's a shame. That's slightly annoying. These things don't produce decor on their own, do they? Um, well, I suppose there's anyone would tell. No, sadly not. I can plant a couple of these briar seeds, though. They don't do much, but they'll do a little bit. I was, rather, I was really hoping those sleep weeds would work. Yeah, it seems like we did put the sleep weeds in here, but they had the problem that they were too hot and they, 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 they sort of cooked. But, yeah, I've, I, another reason I put them here is so that I can put them in light, because these things are 10% more efficient when they're in light. And they're also next to this wheeze ward, which will keep them a little bit cooler. They are next to this machine, which is producing heat, which I didn't think about, which is a bit stupid of me. But I might put another one there. I might put another Weezbolt there when we get a hold of another one, which would be good. I think that would be uh, quite a sensible thing to do. Um, yeah, and of course, I'm, I'm trying to build up the decor a little bit more, particularly in areas where I know they're standing around a lot and working a lot. I'm also moving the, the food production. I want to move that down here, and I want to give them a dedicated uh, area for eating, which I think I'm going to use this space for. 
because this is quite central and very importantly it's next to where the food is. So basically I just need to move this down one, get rid of this floor here, and yeah, it's just going to be a pain because I'm going to get rid of these which means they're not actually going to be able to use them in the meantime. Although I suppose we could get rid of half of it. If I got rid of this side of the wall, the floor, and lowered it, and then put the fridges and the grill on the left-hand side, then I can get, then I can transfer the food over from one set of fridges to the other set of fridges, and then build the mess tables on the other side. Yes, I think that is the way to do this. Give us a minute, I will get that done. That'll probably be the last thing we do in this episode. I don't know. We've been going for over an hour. However, I don't really know how much yakking I've been doing because I'm very tired at the moment and my perception of time gets a lot worse than it already was when I get tired. So, uh, yeah, let's carry on with this for a bit. Eight of the dang things? It seems cruel. <laughs> It seems cruel. Um, actually, hang on a minute. Can I close that for a second? Are there more of those? Are there actually, like, a living one of them I can see somewhere? Yeah, here we go. What do you guys do? Um, Pacus live in contaminated water. They eat algae and they expel polluted dirt. Never mind. I thought they might do something productive, but I don't think they do. So I'm going to do is wait for the morning. In fact, I'll do it right now. Now I know what you're thinking, this is mon- oh, they can move. Ah, oh, they're gonna go down there anyway. I really should have done this at night. They're gonna try and actually get into the water and they're going to succeed in getting in the water. Blast. This wasn't quite what I had in mind, because now they're eating all the algae and they're producing the polluted dirt, which is gonna produce polluted oxygen. What I wanted them to do and this, I, this, this sounds really cruel, but what I wanted them to do was to come into the colony, sit on the floor, and die. Because they weren't in water, and then we could eat their meat. Now I know that's horribly cruel, and it is, it is horribly cruel, but it's what I was going to do anyway. But I guess eventually they're going to run out of algae down there. I rather wish they were in the polluted water. I don't know why, but I sort of just rather they were. But never mind. There's not really a lot I can do about that now. What is this gas pipe connected to? What is that all about? I don't remember setting that up. This isn't connected to anything. Well, in that case, we can get rid of it. Because frankly, I, I, I want to like get rid of some of the rubbish I've got hanging around at the minute gas pipe. Let's get rid of all of that and just clean all that out a little bit and just sort of reset ourselves a bit. Sorry, you ugly creatures. But it's food. If we don't pick it up, it's gonna get dirty. But never mind. Oh, you use the arbor trees to... Oh, because they're trees, you turn them into lumber. Oh, I see. Right. That makes a little bit more sense. I was really, really confused about how you found trees in this game, but I've now... Oh, they've put them in there already. Brilliant. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Really good work. Really good work, guys, actually. That's actually something really competent you've done today. Uh, I'm actually quite proud of you. Um, sorry, I was swooning over them for five minutes. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel all this. Just for five minutes because I've just realised this would actually be a good opportunity to do this properly rather than doing it stupidly. We'd actually want to build like there, wouldn't we? And then again like there. Just so that everything is synced up, which I think would be a better way of doing things. If we now get rid of all of that, and get rid of all of that, cancel that, cancel that. Yeah, that would just make everything for, like every floor for high, at least on this side it would, which would be nice. Um, I'm actually going to as a result of that plan, get rid of all of this as well, because there's no point in having this so it's all going to be balked. Uh, and instead construct the tiles in the correct places. So, 
So, um, who stress? Who, who stresses up? Your stress is up. Your stress is always up. Is that because I shoved you in that machine that made your brain go funny? Um, you're all wet. Yeah, well, of course you're wet. You've been working in the water. Of course you're wet. If you'd have a shower, you wouldn't be wet anymore. But never mind. I think, I think, like shock horror, things actually aren't as terrible as I thought they were. How much coal have we used in the in in, in the cycles that we've been over? We have used about a third of our coal, which is the thing that is worrying me. Because as the, well, actually, there's quite a lot of coal around actually, which is all right. But coal is still a finite resource. There's a lot here though, and here, and here. Is there any coal up north? Not really, no. So there is a fair amount of coal around. Which means we can stick with the coal production for a while. Not forever, but certainly for a while. We can stay with the coal production, which is giving me the time that I need to get on with a number of other little jobs that I'm doing. Which is great. It really is good that I'm able to like get on with other stuff. Um, I, I, I really I, I really want to move this ladder because this ladder's being really ugly at the minute. I, I, I just don't really think it's practical right now for me to do that. Um, but things are actually looking up a little bit. Now that I've sort of calmed down a tiny bit and actually like paid attention to what I'm trying to achieve, things are actually not quite so bad. Because the temperature problem has lessened a lot since I discovered these wheeze wars, because they're keeping our crops chilled, they're cooling down this machinery, and this machinery over here, which is great. It genuinely is really, really good. Yeah, all that polluted oxygen is drifting. Ah, because the CO2 is going down there, which presumably is forcing the oxygen up. Of course. That means, actually, if we open this door, thinking about it, if I set this door to open, then the CO2 is going to go down there. And that will act as a CO2 area for the time being. Which means the CO2 will be drawn out of here, which will solve this pressure problem. Because I think eventually, if the pressure gets too high, the walls will start to actually crack. But this will let the CO2 out. Because I don't mind the polluted oxygen. Sure, it's got germs in it, which isn't great. It's not great by any stretch of the imagination. But at the same time, it's oxygen. And it's relatively easy to refine into better oxygen. I, I really wish this 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 tiny tiny bit of polluted dirt wasn't here. I really rather wish that wasn't there, but it's not the end of the world. So yeah, I think just just like slowing down for a minute and just doing like a few quality of life improvements in the, in the colony has actually proved to be quite beneficial. Because we'll move this, which will open up this space a little bit and allow me to use that a bit more efficiently. I'm going to go up here and get a bit more algae. And there's an awful lot more algae up here, so there's not actually that much work. There's more coal up here as well, actually. Um, I should probably start thinking about my next batch of coal, which I don't really know. I don't quite know where to go for that. It's quite a lot there. I'm just... I don't know what... I the thing is, right, is I'm worried about just bursting into areas like this. Because I'm not massively concerned about the chlorine itself escaping into the base. Because does it say how heavy chlorine is in relation to anything else? Um, not that. The chlorine. Here we are. Does it state... Uh, a germ-killing gaseous state, unbreathable. It doesn't say if it goes up or down, but I presume, looking at this, that it is, well, it's heavier than hydrogen, but I think it said that hydrogen was one of the lightest materials there is, so that doesn't honestly surprise me. But my only concern is, is that if later I discover that chlorine is useful for something and I get the impression that it's got to be useful for something or else why will somebody be in the game I then become a little worried and I think to myself if I just let all of the chlorine out I'm going to kick myself later because I won't have access to the chlorine because it will have all just floated off into the ether that's my only concern about the chlorine because I'd be happy to just go through it uh, just to get access to the coal, because it's the chlorine areas that tend to be surrounded by coal. What was that big lump of coal I saw? That's this, which also has a lot of phosphorite in it, but it's also going to be a heck of a journey getting there, unless we go through this abyssalite, and even then we're going to have to like come down here and then across. So that's going to be a heck of a journey no matter which way we go, which is going to be a pain in the butt. 
a bit of coal up here, a little bit. A little bit of coal over here. What's this? Ugh, that's slime. Goodness, I don't like the look of that at all. Yeah, so I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what our next step should be. Obviously, I want to move us away from coal production. Absolutely, I do. At the first possible interval, I want to move us off coal production and onto almost anything else. I don't honestly think oil production is going to be that much better, unless the oil, refi unless the oil wells rather produce large, large volumes of oil. But I somehow doubt that they're going to, and that's if we even ever find one. Or we could just keep moving on up and trying to find the edge of the map on the surface in order to try and construct some sort of solar panels, which again would be great. But I think that's going to require. I think that is going to require a base as tall as the boots from the 70s. What are you? Are you a baby one of those things? Oh, you're sort of cute in a weird way. I sort of like you, even though you're a bit weird and freaky. But morale has helped a lot. Um, yeah. Yeah, because currently I think their morale requirement is purely their morale requirement from skills. None of it is due to anything bad that's going on, which is great. Really is good. Um... So yeah, I think everything's actually alright at the minute. This is still a pain in the butt, and I know that this was, I just before anybody says it, I know all of this was a stupid idea, right? I know I just sort of threw this in in a really ad hoc method, counting on there being masses of oil, even though we didn't actually have masses of oil. I know that was stupid, don't get me wrong, I know that was stupid. I just did it because I was desperate, alright? I was desperate, and I was frustrated, and I was crying out for anything to work, and nothing was working. But, uh... I think things are looking up a little bit. And I also built another water cooler here because I want to deconstruct this one so that I can build a fire pole here because this, I think, is quite a common area for them to be moving around in. So having another fire pole there I think would be quite beneficial for them. But, yeah, I think things are actually not too ter terrible right now. I think things are kind of okay. I just need to figure out what we're going to do with power so that we can eventually move ourselves off of coal and to something that's a little bit less finite. Or find some sort of animal that we can start ranching that isn't as finite. That would be great as well. I mean, uh, ranch an animal that produces coal to prevent it being finite is what I'm trying to say. Um, good, the grill is finished now, so we can tell the gr uh, tell the grill to make pickled meals, uh, make pickled meals forever, and we can now um, not you don't deconstruct a person, just deconstruct that. There we are, and have all of that, and then we'll deconstruct that. And then hopefully all the food will be moved into there. Nice and quick, double time. Can deconstruct that as well. And I think, with the exception of uh, these being a pickle, because I never bothered actually remembering to uh, put their priorities up. With the exception of that, I think everything's actually kind of all right. I, I, I do rather wish they would put this stuff in here, like double time, but they won't. Never mind, it's not the end of the world. I'd also like to graduate us to some better crops at some point as well. That would be fantastic to do if we could get them onto some higher quality meals. Because I know at one point we got like some spicy tofu or something out of the printing prod, and that really kicked their morale through the roof. So if I could get them permanently onto some slightly better food, then that would improve the quality, uh, the quantity of morale that they have, which would be great. That would be really, really good if we could do that. Again, just little quality of life improvements that I think in the long run will be really beneficial to us. But, I don't know. For the time being, though, I think that is enough. We've been going for about an hour and 20 minutes so far, so uh, I apologise if this video has been a weird length, but I'm afraid I didn't really keep track of how much I was nattering. But I feel like I've been nattering for a long time, and I'm probably you're probably sick to death of listening to me at this point. So I'm going to shut up, and we're going to get on with things. By which I mean I'm going to stop getting on with things, and I'm going to go to bed, is what I'm going to do. But anyway, this episode has certainly gone a lot better than I thought it was going to go. Particularly because we investigated this. I am curious about this recharge thing. Can I set this to recharge? Yeah, awaiting delivery. That frightens me. Because when it says recharge, what am I recharging it with? Am I recharging it with someone's brain? Are they going to lose a skill? 
when I do that. Are they? Could you, could, are they going to lose a skill when they recharge this thing? In fact, I'm scared about that. I'm genuinely scared. I think I'd rather just read about what that actually is. But um, yeah, I, I think for the time being, things is not completely as terrible as they could be. So anyway, now that it's bedtime, I think that is more than enough of that for today. So thank you very much for joining me this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Look after each other and good night. Hang on, actually, hang on, hang on a minute, uh, nearly hang on a minute. Let's give it to, let, let's have this snazzy suit be given to Catalina, because I pulled her brain out. <laughs> Just to make it up to Catalina, let's not have her, let's have her dressed up nice and smart, so that she can feel a little bit better. Um, and I also noticed that her stress seems to be going up quite a lot, quite frequently. So by putting her in a snazzy suit, that gives her like a like an aura of decor. Yay! There we go. Um, which uh, should improve her morale as well. Which should help combat her stress a little bit. That's definitely it. Good night, ladies.